Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited to have you here with me today again. For today's look, I really wanted to embody my nickname as Pop Rock, mixing glam and kind of rock star, edgy, like dark looks. So to start off, I prime my eyelids using the 24-7 Extended Eye Base by MAC. This is a clear formula, so it doesn't really disrupt any color in my eyelid. And that's exactly what I wanted. And then for the brow bone area closer to my brows, I really wanted to like even out the skin tone a little bit. So I just took my foundation and just put a little bit of melt. To start off my eye look, I use its Fast Track Prolong Wear Paint Pod by MAC. Starting with the pencil brush, I went ahead and covered my entire eyelid with this product and then blended out the edges using the dual fiber brush. Using MAC Prep and Prime Loose Powder, I went ahead and set from my brow bone all the way down to the eyelid. From the Warrior 2 palette by Juvia's Place, I took the shade Kufuru and started saturating the edges of my smoky eye. I then took my brush with no more product on it and blended out the edges of this one, making sure it's super diffuse and blended. With Burnt Pepper Blush by MAC, I'm going ahead and blend out even further out. This is going to be the same blush that I use on my face as well, so I really wanted this to be a exact match. That way it's a little bit more on the monochromatic side. With the same product and a more fluffier, bigger brush, I'm going to be applying this even farther out just to give me like a super editorial blended out look. Now with the shade Shawata by the same palette, I'm going to be applying this in the outer third of my eyes, making sure I only keep it in the outer corners and not bringing it higher. And with a smaller blending brush, I went ahead and diffused the edges of this one making sure it stays concentrated towards my outer corners only. Using MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquid in the shade Rage and Race, I'm going to be applying this all over my eyelid making sure it's not like a sharp cut crease, almost diffusing it out as I apply it. Using the same product with a small fluffy brush, I'm even further blending out the edges, just because I want to give it like a very spot-like diffuse effect, I'm not really looking for like a sharp cut crease. For my glitter, I'm using the Mix and Medium Gel by MAC and applying it distributely all over my eyelid, almost tapping away the edges, that way when I apply my glitter, it's not like a sharp line. And using Iridescent White Glitter by MAC, I'm going to be pressing this into my eyelid, that way I can prevent as much follow as possible. Using Luis Torres and Beauty Creation Artist Shadow Palette, I'm going to be using the shade Leo Times 2 in my inner corner just to kind of break away from the warm tones and give a little bit of a cool tone icy look to the inner corners.
using painted ink gel liner i'm going to be doing a very small line just to hide any glitter and also give definition to the lash line and now like always making ugly faces i'm going ahead and clean the edges of my shadow to sharpen it out and to save time i went ahead and did my face makeup of camera now I wanted to incorporate more of a blue tone to this look, so I took Blueprint by Painted.co and created a new inner tear duct, kind of making it round and lower, and then set it in place using the same shadow that I used in my inner corner, the Leo times 2 and apply this right on top of it to make it stand out even more. Going back with my Word 2 palette, I'm taking the shade Shamata, in a flat top angle brush and I'm first stamping this on extending my lower lash line and also creating like a wing in the outer corners of my bottom lash line and again with the same blush that we used previously burnt pepper by mac I'm going to further blend this out and I'm really really going to go low on this one just because I wanted to give a lot of contrast and saturation. With Juvia's Place Concealer in number 24 and a detail liner brush, I'm going to make a new second inner corner, also keeping it rounded in the tip and also extending a line in the outer corners of my lash line. Going back with Painted.co ink gel liner, I'm going ahead and start drawing on the lines of my face. This is something that I've always wanted to like try like abstract makeup like this. I've done it before, but it's been so long since I've done it. Um, I really enjoy myself doing so. This is something that, that makes me want to do more artistic, dramatic looks like this. I kind of stood with beauty makeup for like way too long and now realistically I want to go back to like actually doing like artistic makeups so I'm hoping that on my channel you'll see more of that I was really afraid of messing this all up but I took my time I enjoyed myself and I was just going for it like not really like overthinking it too much um, but this is what I come up so far with. I went ahead and copy it to the other side and then continue to like play around with the entire face. For my mouth, I actually wanted to get the illusion of having two lips side by side as a profile view. I really wanted to make this like very abstract and almost creepy looking, <laughs> but not like you know crazy looking i wanted to still keep it fashionable and editorial and going again with the dazzle shadow liquid in race and raise by mac i went ahead and filled in some of the gaps on black i really wanted this to give like a feeling of makeup being like an armory for the face and doing so also giving more dimension to the gel liner as well By this point, I felt like there was something still missing on the look, so I went ahead and applied a couple of brown and gold Swarovski crystals, and I really feel like this helped pull the look more together by adding more texture and dimension. And last but not least is going to be lashes and I also went ahead and applied some lip gloss of camera and that is exactly how I was able to achieve this beautiful makeup look right here. I am very proud of how all the elements came together. I feel like this makeup look is exactly an embodiment of my makeup style. I'm someone who loves glam and also a little bit of goth and darkness and it's been so long since I've been able to create a look like this. So I hope that you guys really, really liked it just as much as I do. And if you did, 
please like share and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in the next one